Welcome to this Latin beginner leader solo practice dance lesson. Learning tips including health and safety advice are in the description. This lesson is for anyone learning Latin dancing, particularly aimed at beginner leaders. We use salsa music, which is fairly fast, so if this is too difficult for you, you might try the rumba absolute beginner lesson instead as your way of doing individual practice. Let's learn the next thing. Again, just copy. Best way I've found for people to learn this. We'll be doing other stuff later. Let's start now. So just join in when you're ready. Once you think you've worked out what's going on, stop and start again if you need to, as many times as you need to. Spotted the pattern yet? Going back on the left, back on the right. I'm going back on the left, I'm going back on the right. Also, I could say back on one side, back on the other side. Back on one side, back on the other side. Back on one side, back on the other side. Back on one side, back on the other side. Back on one side, back on the other side. Now I've got the paper at a slight angle. I do that because it's just easier for you to watch on the video. Or at least that's the sort of feedback I generally have been getting. piece of paper so make it a bit clearer to see what I'm doing. Join in or watch. I'm going to keep stopping and starting again on this one. Stop and start again. Some, it's, a, it's a good thing to do. And back on the left. No, so I'm starting on the left. Typically in social dancing, that'll be the leader that starts on the left and the follower starting on the right. Okay. Listening to the music. Let's start on the left foot again. This time I'm going to really exaggerate my steps. You wouldn't... We're not aiming to dance like this. Just trying to make it easier for you to see what I'm doing. By the way, I'm at a very slight angle to the camera because uh, people tell me that that makes it a bit easier to see what's going on. Stop and start again. I, I won't exaggerate as much this time. Back on the left. Let's go now. I'll be doing this with a piece of paper. The piece of paper helps you kind of see what I'm doing. Listening to the music. So I'm going back on one side, back on the other side. Back on one side, back on the other side. So it's back on the left, back on the right. If you're struggling, just stop and start again. See if you can join back in with me. Back on the left, back on the right. So I'm going from one side to the other side. So it's alternating sides. The reason is step one, step two, step three, step one, step two, step three, step one, step two, step three, step one, step two, step three. We've got two legs. And we're taking an odd number of steps. So the maths gives us that we must be going back on one side, then the other side. Let's look at the basic step broken down, the left leg's lifting and it's going back. There we go, that's the first step. 
Notice the front right foot lifted and then lowered, that made the second step. The third step is the left foot closing in. And with watching this in slow motion, obviously, it's going to be a bit of a pause. And then finally, the first step of the next bar happens back on the right. We can't see it because it's hidden, but the left leg lifted and lowered. Now the right leg lowers down while the left leg lifts, and that makes the third step of the second bar. I just did that because some people like to see it in slow motion, they find it helpful. Let's dance to this rumba. As a leader, I'm going to start with the left. We don't have to do that, but it's, it seems to be a habit in social dancing. When I say start, I mean start at the very start of the song or when restarting dancing-ish. I'm going to do some bat basic. Back on the left, go. Remember to just join in or watch. And you can just stop and start again if you get lost. So I'm going back on the left, back on the right, back on the left, back on the right, back on the left, back on the right, let's stop and start again, back on the left, let's go now, left, right, left, I'm going to keep going now and your challenge if you get lost will be just to join back in with me, if you, what you might do is you might be watching, going oh we just went back on the left, Oh, I'm going to join in this time with back on the left. So that's how you can sort of join back in. I'm going to say the quick, quick, slow, because that could be a nice way of thinking about this. Quick, quick, slow. 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 Because I think we've talked about this in terms of being three steps. But there's four beats in the bar, so we can think of it as a pause. But you can also think of if you make the third step last twice as long, that fits over four bars. I mean, I meant four beats. I didn't mean four bars there. I'm going to come. I'll go back to saying left and right, left, right, left, right left. Let's try dancing on the spot for a bit. Left. Right. Left. Right. Now back on the left again. Back on the right. When I first started dancing, when I got onto the Latin dances, I spent about three months dancing one day a week and I would dance for about an hour every time after the class because I went to classes and I would ask people to dance and I would say to them I just want to practice the bat basic Are you okay just dancing with me for one dance doing the bat basic nothing else and they would generally they would often say yes sometimes they say no and I later spoke to some of the followers and I said, why did you just dance me when I was doing such basic things? And I was like, well, we knew it was important and we hoped you'd remember us when you got good because we've watched people, the people that do lots of practice and are really kind of concentrating, they often get good. I thought I might get some dances later as well. But also it's nice just to help. Anyway, I'm waffling on. The point is, I think it's really good when you're starting out just to drill this basic over and over again because after three months of doing this, I got to the stage where I could do it without thinking. My body just did it naturally, and I could then concentrate on doing things with the arms, or talking. Although, did you notice I got slightly out of time there? Probably because I was waving my arms around too much, so... Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right, let's dance on the spot again. Left, right, left, right. Back on the left. Ta da! Thanks for watching. This is one of a series of nearly 50 lessons that create a complete partner dance learning experience. 
The video description and my website have lots more information to help.